the theory that it has been put forth is that there are certain biological processes mm. that life forms become more efficient uh, at executing if calories are restricted. Mm. And these include, among other things, the body's ability to uh, repair mm. uh, or uh, manage uh, DNA. Mm. Um, also, the body's ability to manage mm. oxidative stress, mm. uh, to manage blood sugar levels, mm. uh, to deal with inflammation. Mm. Uh, and, and so, uh, interestingly, uh, if you follow that logic, a lot of these uh, biological processes that are associated with a restriction of calories uh, could also be associated with a depletion of glutathione or, mm. uh, on the other hand, by the ability to uh, have an adequate level of glutathione. Mm. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily uh, restrict your calories, that there are other ways of supporting the body's ability to uh, repair and maintain its genetic material. Mm. Uh, there are foods that have that effect um, to be able to deal with oxidative stress. Mm. So if one were to find a path to be able to support those biological processes, mm. would it be logical that that path could include a way to uh, to maintain optimum levels of glutathione production. Mm. Well, um, the problem is, uh, you know, we're uh, we've become civilized, and in the process of becoming civilized, we've forgotten what we should be eating, and so mm -hmm. we have food available to us twenty four seven. Um, those uh, the longevity studies with the restricted uh, calories that they come from animal models, right. so. Uh, where they restrict and find that they can make this association with increased longevity. Um, but yeah, of course, with the, the food that we're eating, the more food we eat, and if we're not eating the right food, then we're going to be generating toxins mm -hmm. and the body's going to have to deal with it. So there's there's a lot of schools of thought, thoughts out there that we should be um, uh, calorie restricting. Um, you, you'll hear about uh, people recommending intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. perhaps only eating once a day, and the role of um, phagocytosis. Mm -hmm. we, we need to have a period where we're not eating and uh, you know, so that the body can clean up all the dead cells. Mm -hmm. So it's quite quite complex out there and uh, you know, people are doing It's very hard to do human studies. You can't mm -hmm. take humans and put them in a cage and say, this is what you're eating for. Well, no, you can, but not like, for very long. No, no uh, very, very hard. Mm -hmm. So, And because every animal has its own nutrition, that's the one thing mm -hmm. that we find it very hard to uh, to study.